So I think it's okay for us to fall back, like to have moments like that, because we're living in a life that's really, really full of challenges and a lot of stress. Like we're living in a world that, you know, there's there's so much going on and there's generational trauma that we're dealing with too. We're reversing our own things like that have been ingrained in us for generations. Like this is not something to take lightly, you know? So it's really important to be really kind and compassionate with ourselves. Like even in times where we're slipping, mm -hmm. um, I know I tell myself this a lot and I had to learn it because I was my biggest critic, especially around the times that I was binge eating and overeating or doing anything that's not perfect. Mm -hmm. um, I had to really work on my perfectionist uh, traits um, while also believing that I could get there, but only through love, only through uh, being kind and compassionate and forgiving with myself and patient with the process. Because, you know, I mentioned this in... Um, in my videos when I talk on uh, social media is that we can only heal through love. We can't keep healing through putting more stress and more pressure on ourselves to be perfect, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's okay that uh, you, you were eating cooked foods at a time of stress because it's like ingrained in you. It's like automatic. We have that those primal instincts as well. Like we're just so used to it and being different from everybody else like that's also a challenge like let's say right now um i'm visiting my dad in toronto and my grandmother and all of them in the family they show love through food so it's like do you want this i'm cooking this you know they're always making me food and it's like you mention it so many times that you don't want it and that you're eating like your own specific type of food but they still make it. So there's a lot of challenges that come on the path of, you know, get getting the cooked food out of your life and just being on a full high raw vegan and fruitarian lifestyle. It's like very different for people. So you also have to deal with the challenge of like setting boundaries, very strong boundaries with people and um, so many other challenges that you face. So it's really, really really important to just be nice to ourselves yeah. and uh we're gonna get there you know we're gonna we're we're there already we're there already it's just about enjoying the journey yeah yes, <laughs> yes. um i'm here holding back